Good afternoon, Verbally Vicious Nation. Good afternoon, YouTube. Daryl Horner, founder and funk master. These are the kind of days where I wish I had 30 minutes to talk to you. I wish I had an hour. I could definitely fill it today. But we have 10 or less, so let's get to it. It's going to be a fairly serious, kind of heated afternoon. going to do this video. going to leave it up for a little while because I want as many people as possible to watch it. First, let's get the little silly shit out of the way. Guys, stop coming on and arguing with each other about stupid shit. Redirect your uh, your anger, you know, in places that it's useful. Look, number one, I it, people saying first comment or second comment or whatever on my page might be it might be a little silly, and I really could care less. But I also don't hate it. it I'm a, I'm ambivalent to it. Um, so stop arguing with each other about its relevance and, and getting heated up about why are you putting that on there and you crawl back in your mom or whatever, which was by the way, dude. Get better at busting balls and fucking, as we call it, where I grew up, running the dozens because you're really not good at it uh, with the two guys that are sitting on there arguing. I enjoy both of you being on the page and the dude busting the guy's balls about saying he's the first comment. The guy's 15 years old. Remember when you were 15? I do. Life was pretty shitty. Mom and dad controlled everything you did. You had to come in when the fucking lights came on in the streets. And if, and if all that guy has is being able to say he was the first or second comment on the page, let him fucking have it, dude. It's not really a big deal. Um, great show last night. Loose Cannon Comedy Show was fantastic. Isaac Whitty from the David Letterman Show was there, and it was fucking awesome. Don't forget, October 16th, I'll be with John Reap in uh, Burnsville, Minnesota. So that's going to be cool. Let's get into it. We're going to talk politics. We're going to talk bullshit. Because I'm sick of seeing it. I'm sick of hearing it. For those of you out there that are on the right, supposedly, those of you out there that call yourself Republicans and say that I'm some bleeding heart liberal bitch, Fuck you. You've ruined my country. You fucking ruined it. When Clinton came out of office, it was the first time in the history of this country we were not in a fucking deficit. It didn't take long, did it? And I don't want to hear Democrats are in control of, of Congress now. For six of the eight years that Bush has been president, it was a Republican-controlled Congress, and Republicans say... They believe in small government, and we liberals want to spin, spin, spin. Is that why under Republican control, the government has grown 40 fucking percent? We are $400 trillion in debt. The biggest fucking debt we've ever had. Who do we owe most of that money to? China. What happens if they call in the debt? It's absolute bullshit. I do want to say, look, John McCain's not this evil man. It's just his political views do not rest softly on the middle class and the lower middle class and the impoverished. They don't give a fuck about you. The spending is out of control. He picked a woman who they say, Sarah Palin stopped the bridge to nowhere, which you just got to look that up. It's a highly expensive bridge they're trying to build in Alaska, going literally to an island no one lived on. Saying she stopped the bridge to nowhere. Hey, guess what? Guess who brought the people to build the bridge to nowhere? The same Sarah Palin. So saying she stopped the bridge to nowhere is like saying Daryl Horner stopped that guy from dying because I stopped beating the fuck out of him after I started beating the fuck out of him. It's absolutely ludicrous. And for everybody to sit out there and say they're voting on God's side because they're voting Republican. Are you serious? Are you out of your fucking head voting a God approves of these wars and these attacks and, 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 and all the shit that we're doing to people? Really? If God and Jesus really did want Bush Jr. to be president and they really do want Republicans in office, then I say this loud and I say this proud. I don't like that fucking God. That is bullshit. I don't think God, if there is a God, is political to begin with. It's ludicrous that I hear people going, Look, man, we gotta, to keep peace, we gotta go to war. You know what? You're not allowed to open your fucking stupid mouth anymore unless you're one of two things. Either currently serving our military or you have served our military. Sitting at home and playing Call of Duty fucking 4 does not make you a specialist in our government's military. Shut the fuck up. No one in this country has had to sacrifice anything because of this war except for the actual soldiers at war. This country paid 
heavy taxes, lived on stipends, was allowed only a certain amount of food, wasn't allowed to use metals, wasn't allowed to use fucking silks and claws during World War II. The whole country bucked up and kicked in because it was a righteous fucking cause. You tell me what you're doing. You got a magnetic fucking ribbon on the back of your pickup truck that says, I support our troops. You want to show you really support our troops? Vote for Barack Hussein Obama so we can get the motherfuckers home. And for the people who say he doesn't have the experience, he's not ready to serve this country for the very racist bullshit Sarah Palin said. He was just a community organizer from Chicago. What qualification? Let me tell you about a few more community organizers. About 230 years ago, they got together in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They were all community organizers. And they wrote a little document called the Declaration of Independence. And they created a country. And do you know what they were? They were community fucking organizers. And you should want this country to be looked at peacefully. I think if you are, are the commander-in-chief or you're a commanding general who says we need to go to war, then you need to be the first motherfucker on the front goddamn lines. And this is enough bullshit shitting on our economy and making everyone so poor that the only choice people have are to join the military because it's the only check they can get. While rich people fucking suck their houses dry, they're forced to join so they can make a living. People say they're anti-draft. I am pro-fucking-draft. Hey, rich people, you really want a war? Put your money and your merit where your mouth is. Because without a draft, it's only poor people serving in a rich man's military. With a draft, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It's a fucking lottery. And your little bitch-ass rich kid driving around the family fiat might find himself sitting in the desert. Because if you don't think we have a fucking uh, slave mentality on our fucking military right now, look up the word stop loss. People are volunteering their time to serve our country and put their life on the line. And when their time of voluntary service is up, our government's going, no, we're keeping you and you're not doing a fucking thing about it, poor boy, because you can't afford a fucking lawyer. You want a war? You want to sit in Iraq and Afghanistan? You want to talk about invading Iran? You want to talk about John McCain saying we might have to invade Russia? It's 2008. You want to talk war? Then you talk draft. I want to see that uppity motherfucker that goes to UCAL Berkeley who sits around all day and doesn't shave and smokes pot talk about how we fucking we have to defend this fucking country man when i went to fucking juilliard we used to discuss this in our how to be a tree class fuck you serve bitch and if there's a draft then that's what the fuck happens everybody's on a level playing field and not just the impoverished are being forced to join our fucking military get off your ass and stop this republican fucking government from eating us alive vote barack Hussein Obama. And if you don't like my opinion, get the fuck off my page. Verbally Vicious Nation, thank you for listening in. This was very important to me. Love, peace, hair grease, motherfuckers. Make sure that you rate and subscribe and comment and send some friends over here. It's time for people to speak their fucking mind. Not just the Ann Coulter cunt faces of the world who say that we should invade a country, convert them to Christianity, and if they don't, kill them. It's time for liberals on the left to get off their pussy asses and open their mouth, and I'm going to lead the fucking way. We'll talk to you guys.